It's a number one, but why? The latest from podnews.net with critically acclaimed, highly addictive CBC podcasts. What makes a chart-topping podcast? Rephonic has dug into the data to discover that top shows tend to be weekly, tend to skew male in audience, and newer shows have more chance of appearing at the top. Dan Meisner from Bumper has added to our data point about trailers. On Friday, we said that out of 360,000 podcasts we examined over the last three months, only 14% have an episode marked as a trailer. By comparison, Dan says 54% of the Apple Podcasts Top 200 had trailers and 50% of the Spotify Top 200 did too. Riveter, a podcast production and marketing company, has launched. The company is a joint venture between Frequency Machine and Tink Media and launches with a competition for US-based non-profits. Good Tape is a secure transcription service for your interview tape. It's aimed at journalists and gives you text files and SRT files, and it's free. Nicole Lapin, a finance journalist, has launched the Money News Network, a podcast-driven business and finance network. The finalists for the Ondas Podcast Awards were announced in Malaga. The Spanish press release contains all the finalists. The awards, hosted by Prisa Audio and Cadena Ser, had an increase of 25% submissions year on year. Podcast Industry Insights has added top-level Apple Podcasts category data for free, showing relative active versus inactive podcasts for each. Of all people aged between 13 and 34 in the US, a third of those listen to podcasts every day, says Edison Research. BBC Sounds data in quarter 4 22 was published. 188 million plays were to on-demand content, excluding music mixes. The corporation also saw 259 million podcast downloads on third-party platforms. That's a total of 148 million global downloads and streams per month, which would make it number four on PodTrack's publisher list, behind NPR, Wondery and iHeart, though that number does include some catch-up radio shows unavailable as RSS podcasts. Over a thousand Buzzsprout podcasts are using their subscriptions feature, according to Buzzcast. It was announced in late January. And the Earbuds Podcast Collective has five podcast episodes on the theme of Canada, Black History and Futures, curated by Daniela Barreto. And thank you to Bumper for becoming our latest silver supporter. Bumper is a podcast growth agency to help organisations reach their business goals through the power of audio. The message says Bumper is happy to support you. And we're happy you're supporting us too. You can be like Bumper and support us at podnews.net slash support. It's a Monday, so time for some tech stuff. Popular Android podcast app Podcast Addict has released a new version which supports live podcasting via the new podcast namespace. Dave Jones has added a new Podcast Index API output of feed and episode value blocks. Podcast RSS feeds, artwork and transcripts stand a better chance of being used if they have a valid cause header, would remind you, and a nice neat bit of UX while you're waiting for Headliner to produce a video for for you. It gives a list of podcasts about podcasts to listen to, including this one. Thanks. And in podcast news, in Johannesburg, the Santon Times Hour has reached episode 100 and celebrated by presenting the show from a cruise ship off the coast of South Africa. A podcast since 2020, the show started being broadcast on FM radio in May 2022. Stolen Hearts is released today from Wondery. The show journeys back to 2006 to tell the barely believable true story of a highly respected police sergeant from rural Wales who falls for the wrong guy. It's a limited series produced by Wondery and Novel and merges crime and rom-com in a twisting, tail-spinning true life story told over the course of six episodes. Episode one's everywhere and you can binge all episodes ad-free on Amazon Music. Backstage with Patreon is new today from the funding platform. The show invites existing and aspiring Patreon creators to learn from and be inspired by interviews with the Patreon team and successful creators. 
1985, at the height of the Black Power era, police dropped a bomb in a Philadelphia neighbourhood. Their target was a family of black radicals known as MOVE, who found themselves ensnared in a city's and nation's domestic war on black liberation. From CBC Podcasts, The Africas vs. America looks at the legacy of the tragedy, it's new today, and the Royals of Malibu, an adaptation of a young adult's book, launches today from Diversion Audio. The podcast is an edgy, romantic, rags-to-riches saga starring internet sensation and actress Alyssa McKay, whose BTS social content has had the show charting on every major platform for the last month. This podcast is sponsored by CBC Podcasts. New seven-part series Love, Janessa is climbing the international charts. Join host Hannah Ajala on a wild journey to find a woman whose images are being used as bait in global catfish schemes. Love, Janessa is from BBC World Service and CBC Podcasts, produced by Antica and Telltale Industries. And that's the latest from our newsletter. To read all the stories and subscribe, we're at podnews.net. 